Thank you very much. The Honorable Rahim Dawood, member for North Imenti. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. First of all, I want to congratulate His Excellency the President on his uh, State of the Nation speech. Madam Speaker, the first thing when President was sworn in, he signed in six judges of the Court of Appeal who were pending prior in the other administration, as well as increasing the Judiciary Fund. Increase, he increased it by three billion shillings, Mr. Madam Speaker. And the judiciary under my sister, CJ Martha Kome, has been doing exemplary well. Uh, Madam Speaker, the second thing uh, His Excellency did, uh, he made the IG, my brother again, uh, IG Inspector Jafet Kome, as the accounting officer of the National Police Service uh, as an independent away from uh, interior so that they can run their affairs properly. M Madam Speaker, uh, we have seen the expansion of the agriculture uh, from because of interventions which were done, reducing the fertilizer cost from 6,000 to 2,500, which have now resulted in an extra 18 million bags and more than 200,000 acres under maize production, Madam Speaker. That has even gone further to reduce the price of unga from 250, the highs of 250, to between 145 and 165, Madam Speaker. And I am really surprised, Madam Speaker, the opposition or the minority side have not acknowledged the reduction in prices of unga which have been, has been from the intervention of His Excellency the President. Madam Speaker, we have the affordable housing and there are over 746,795 affordable houses in the pipeline where these houses will create jobs for the Juakali sector not just create jobs, it will give a decent dwelling to the ones downtrodden and the purchase we is uh, the ones we, who will be buying it. They will be buying it at a so, the social housing will be at 3% interest, uh, the affordable housing at 6% interest and the market rates are 9%. So Madam Speaker, it goes to show how much the President has thought about this affordable housing because ordinarily Anybody who goes to a bank will not get less than 12% interest on loans. Madam Speaker, we talk about universal health care, and I thank this uh, House for passing the four health bills. And Madam Speaker, the government, together with the county governments, has looked forward at the community health promoters. We, they are, we will be employing over 100,000 community health promoters who will nip in the bud the diseases. They will go to each and every village. Instead of somebody having to come long distances to hospitals, they will be getting uh, maybe interventions so that it does not go very far, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the government of His Excellency the President has invested heavily in the ICT sector and there we are going to be having uh, 1,450 digital hubs and over 25,000 free Wi-Fi hotspots. Madam Speaker, in my constituency, we have got already between four and five hotspots, free hotspots, which are assisting our market people and our residents in doing digital business. Madam Speaker, the government has got a very ambitious 100,000 kilometer fiber optic cables. Madam Speaker, the pensions we have is uh, at the moment it's uh, at 1.4 billion, but uh, after coming into effect of the NSSF uh, uh, enhancements, we've got, we are at 6.5. Madam Speaker, the other thing is the markets and aggregation centers which this government has brought forward. In my constituency, I've got one or two uh, market aggregation centers, and I believe that is the way to go, and we thank the, His Excellency the President. In, even in the digital, we've got more than 13,000 services 
which are now on e-citizen platform. So, Madam Speaker, when we are being told that uh, there is nothing which uh, the, this government